Yo, what's up guys, it is Little of Seahawks fan back with another video and today is part 12 of my Retro Bowl College Colorado series. Last week we beat the crap out of the Cougars, 35-3, to with a video without audio because, yeah, fun times. Now this week we're going to Boise State, I think. Uh, it just says Boise, but it might be Boise State. Uh, they're 6-5, and five, a 2-star offense, 2.5-star defense. Pretty favorable matchup in terms of the star ratings. Um, let's just play. Let's hopefully get to the number one team in the country. So, not off to a good start. Defense always allowing points. Just any opportunity they can get, like an absolute crap filled unit. Alright, Jelks, let's go. Good old seven yard pickup. Alright. Let's get to some news. <laughs> Burping and coughing. Oh yeah, we don't have a Ty Haley for this game, so... It's gonna be the Pat Joke Show. Fantastic. I mean, we also got a tight end. Holland. He's pretty elite, not gonna lie. This offense as a whole is just freaking elite. Uh, full bias, by the way, on that. Four yards for jokes. All right. The Giants and defensive coordinator Wink Martindale mutually agreed to part ways after just two seasons. Um, from what I heard and read, I don't know if it's like true or not, but the way that they parted ways was pretty ugly, and that's a pick. That was not a pick. Okay. Uh, we're really hurting without our boy. Alright. First down, let's go. Ah, this one sucks, man. Pete Carroll is out at Seattle's head coach after 14 years. But he is going to remain with the team as a like senior advisor or something. That's like a nail punctured in your heart right there. If you're a Seahawks fan. I know I've been harsh on him on Instagram here, probably TikTok too, I don't really know. But Pete Carroll, I love everything you've done for the Seahawks. And it's going to be different without you on the sidelines eating gum. And just your winning mentality. I didn't get the first down. What? All right. Screw me, I guess. All right, screw it. We'll take it out of the end zone. Jokes. Get us a touchdown. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Uh, Luke Getze, the Bears' offensive coordinator, along with four other uh, offensive assistants, were fired on Wednesday. Bears did a great job at cleaning house. But in response to firing Luke Getze, <laughs> I hope they do this one. Uh, they have requested to interview Seahawks head or er, offensive coordinator Shane Waldron. Please take him. I cannot deal with him anymore. I hate his guts so much. He is one of the dumbest offensive play callers I've ever seen. He makes Brian Schottenheimer look good. And that's like, that's just a bad man. All right. This one ain't uh, football or NFL related, but it's still pretty big. Nick Saban retires as well. Just like that in the span of a day. Just two legendary coaches of their sport and their team. They're, they're just gone. Just like that. I mean, Saban retired. Pete Carroll technically retired from head coaching for the Seahawks. So we could, we could say both of them are retired. But Nick Saban retiring, that's just weird. One of his best seasons, probably. And he, he just, he's gone. Just like that. 
I bet they get the Oregon head coach like literally everyone and their mother has already been like rumoring. Let's hop on the train with it because I, I totally know what I talk about half the time about college football. Go jokes. You're faster than that, Pat. Let's go, Pat. Score me a touchdown. Let's go. 68 yards. I wish I was a yard out more. All right. Didn't have a nice start to this game, but we are bouncing back. And we have the ball to start the second half. All right. We have a chance to go up by four if we can score a touchdown. Pat jokes, please. Get us a good return. Up to the 35, that's good enough. I'll take that. Holland wide open, middle of the field. Let's go. 18 yards. All right. Um, Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford on his return to Detroit. He says, I'm the bad guy coming to town. Yikes. You better, Detroit, you better welcome him with open arms after him sacrificing his life and mental health playing for your godforsaken franchise for 12 years of his life. That is a 12 year marriage right there. Like, he did a lot for you guys with barely anything to work with. Better not boo him, even though you probably will. The, the Lions fans, they're, they're too nice to, to probably do that. They definitely will, but we'll see. Uh, what, Sunday they play? Alright, good return to the 32. Maybe if I got that fourth down earlier that I definitely got, this game could be a different game. And instead of them up by three, I could possibly be up by four. Give me a first down. What? It says I got a yard and it was second in inches. <sighs> Is this not a first down either? <laughs> According to this game. God. Ridiculous, man. <sighs> Second and ten. Alright. Someone catch it. Thank you, whoever you are. The Ty Haley replacement for the week. That's who you are. Come on, Melanie. Yes! Touchdown. Let's go. Oh, we are up by four. Alright, they got a field goal. We just, just a touchdown. And if we get a touchdown, we're going to be greedy and go for two to put us up by nine. Come on, Pat. When I need a kick return touchdown the most, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Don't kill me. So, what y'all think of the uh, the uh, national championship? Oh, come on. Don't do this. I ain't gonna lie. I fell asleep at halftime. I woke up right as, like, the game ended. And I was like, what happened? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I did pick Michigan because I hate the Huskies' guts so much. No, and I hate that I, I was supporting them so much this season. But, uh, yeah. What I took away from that game is Washington's rush defense sucks. Um, Penix folds under pressure. Um, Michigan is the best team. In the nation. And Jim Harbaugh is probably going to stay another year. I mean, he probably should. It's just, it's, it's just annoying hearing a, every year, every offseason for the past like four years. Oh, who's going to get Jim Harbaugh in the NFL? And he, he just stays in Michigan. After like having... A lot of fan bases and teams 
excuse me, on the edge of the seats. Just to cock block them like that. Honestly, I don't care. I think it's funny. I don't like that guy at all. Also, I'm just doing this to be a douche. Oh, can I even make this? Oh, I can. Hey, you got a 50-yard field goal. <laughs> and the longest field goal. All right. After a horrible start to the game, we also... I'm 12-0. and 0. How is Michigan and Ohio, Ohio State in front of me? <sighs> what, what more do I got to do, man? What more do I got to do? Yeah, strength, I guess. All right. We are playing number nine, Utah. And... The Pac-12 Championship. Let's check on how the boys did. Wait, I thought Haley was only out for one game. He's out for four. Okay. So we won't see him the rest of the year, pretty much. That's awesome. All right, Milne did all he could without his star receiver. Three rushes, two touchdowns. Nice. Jokes, elite, four catches, two touchdowns. Okay. Holland, cooked. Uh, Haley, why did you have to be injured, man? <sighs> well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!